Hi all, welcome to ClickShare.com. Following up from my previous post, I took a short break. I've been very busy with new job and uh, one of my best friend is struggling with brain tumor. I'm just praying that she recovers and she overcomes the situation. So thank you for your patience and uh, uh, let's look at something new today. In this video, I'll quickly show you how to hide the current selection box. Sometimes you don't want to show the data islands, helper fields or field which supports the user interface like buttons and all that stuff. I'm sure uh, most of you know about hide prefix variable. Anyway, for those who don't know, hide prefix falls under special category variables. All field names beginning with this text string. I mean, when I say text string, the value which is assigned to hide prefix variable uh, will be treated same as system fields. So you can assign a special character for this variable and any field name starting with this hide prefix character is treated as system fields. I hope that makes sense. And I would generally recommend uh, not using the dollar sign because uh, it might clash with dollar sign expansion when you're writing complex expressions. So I would using a percentile or a tilde. I prefer using a tilde or percentile. You can assign only one character. I wish ClickTech would allow more than one character. So let's get started. Let me quickly jump into script. And I've already have an OLEDB connection. I'll quickly select a simple table. And I'll select currency. Select everything. Click on OK. And then I'll do a preceding load. Load. I'll copy these fields. Uh, in fact, I'll just copy one field. And then let's select star here. And here I'll say as, and I'll use the tilde. And I need to use the square brackets and the statement terminator. I've set the height prefix already here as tilde, so I've used tilde here. So let's go ahead and reload this document. Okay, that was quick. And it shows up the currency description and I've loaded this twice to show the difference. So I have two currency descriptions and now I'll add a current selection box. Click on OK. Okay. So now if I make a selection on this particular field, it shows up here. And if I make a selection on this field, it doesn't show up because ClickView is treating this as a system field. Not literally, but it, it will not show uh, in the current selection box. However, if you go to your table viewer, you will still see this field. And uh, let's say that uh, uh, when you right click and click on select fields, you don't want to see the system fields or when you create a new chart, let me create a new chart very quickly and select a table, click on next and you don't want to see the system fields. So you have a global setting to uncheck these options. So that is if you go to the user preferences, that is Alt Control U and you have this option where it says sh show system fields. So uncheck this option and click on apply and OK save this and now let's right click and click on select fields now you won't see these show system fields is unchecked unless you wanted to see them click on this then you will start looking at the fields okay and uh, let's go ahead and do the same thing for let's go ahead and check for the chart click on next so it doesn't show up only when you click on it it shows up now so which is very good. So if you wanted to hide fields, helper fields, or if you wanted to hide some fields which are used to build the user interface and you don't want to show them, this is the best way to do it. And click on, let me click on cancel. So I hope this is pretty straightforward and a simple video. I hope it made sense. As always, please feel free to rate this video and leave a comment and uh, happy learning. Have a good day. Oops, uh, let me also talk about ClickView question of the day. 
I've recently started ClickView question of the day where I'll be posting a range of ClickView questions from very simple to complex. I think some of them are very simple and some of them are very complex. Okay, so I post the questions and then all you need to do is click on this tab, like QQOTD. Ah, it's tongue twister. So it's QQOTD. Okay, I've already answered the question. I'm testing it and I know the answer, so I've given the right answer. So you can also take part and you don't have to install anything for this. So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.